Hello guys, Ping Yao here. Welcome to episode 13.5, which is the second installment of the old harbour build. Now, if you watched the previous episode, you'll know that I've started to build the old harbour, which is the waterfront here in New Falmouth, the kind of historical neighbourhood that was one of the earliest parts of the city. It was a kind of fishing port, the main area where the fish, fish were brought to shore, and nowadays it's been kind of transformed um, into a tourist destination rather than a working um, port. And with that in mind, I wanted to try and portray this area more as a historical neighbourhood, so I'm using quite a lot of older buildings and props and assets to give it the impression that this area is a an older neighborhood and has been kind of renovated let's say and modernized to some extent so that it has become more of a kind of destination for tourists and visitors to spend their money and spend some time um, as well as having lots of cafes and restaurants it's just a very nice place to to hang out in New Falmouth and one of the most kind of popular spots for people to visit. That's really the the idea behind this this build. So the centerpiece to the the old harbour itself is the what's known as the fish market, which is what I'm building here. And the fish market is of course the original fish market. And nowadays it's more like a farmer's market stroke tourist market. So it sells lots of fruit and veg, fresh produce, as well as tourist knickknacks, you know, bits and books and, and gifts and things like that. Uh, so it's a very kind of uh, tourist friendly destination for people to visit. On top of this, you then have a lot of cafes and restaurants out on this pier, which is known as Pier 3, which I'll be constructing here. And Pier 3, as I say, is going to have a lot of um, kind of places for people to eat and just enjoy a bit of uh, social time. Uh, it is very much inspired by those kind of harbour districts in particularly North American cities. Some I've visited, including San Francisco, uh, Montreal and Halifax as well, who all have harbour fronts that have now become kind of destinations in themselves for the visitors to spend some time. So with the fish market, this is the real centerpiece to the entire build. And I think you probably enjoy how this works because I wanted to do something a little bit more unique with this. So I've been getting back into procedural objects. What I'm doing here is actually converting a lamppost into part of the structure for this um, fish, mar fish market roof. Because I guess that this area would have been built probably early Victorian or mid Victorian era. So the fish market is a kind of traditional Victorian cast iron structure that would have been erected to um, partially enclose the market below. And this structure is now obviously been retained and restored. So it may have fallen into sort of disrepair over the years but is now being kind of renovated and is really the centerpiece to this entire area so this is kind of a classic piece of Victorian uh, engineering I guess um, I mean in the UK we have quite a lot of these sort of structures I guess uh, markets and you know infrastructure bridges and tunnels and so forth that the Victorians built I guess there's not so many in the States but um, I think it's quite interesting to build something like this and imagine that it was some something that was built in that era so probably around the 1880s 1890s that sort of time um, so what I'm doing here is really just constructing this thing using procedural objects as best as I can and um, I have been using PO for quite a few months now and I'm fairly familiar with the kind of the operation of the mod how it works and what you can do with it and it's an incredibly flexible tool and 
when I start doing things like this, it often makes me think that I could do a lot of other stuff with this, with procedural objects. And um, it's hard not to get carried away, I guess, to some extent. But I wanted to try and keep this as realistic as possible. So I didn't want to go absolutely crazy in terms of the scale of this, um, this roof structure. Uh, originally, I wanted to make it maybe twice as long, but I felt because of New Falmouth's reasonably modest scale, it probably wouldn't have had an absolutely colossal fish market there. It would probably be more realistic to do something a little bit more um, modest in scale, certainly. One of the trickiest things here was just working out the almost to give the structure a kind of realistic appearance and making it fit with that um, that kind of uh, warehouse building, the brick structure adjacent to it, because it I imagine this was built at the same time as that building, so it needed to kind of relate in terms of the roof pitches and angles and so forth. So that was a little bit tricky to get the kind of geometry correct and all of those angles working nicely and I had to do quite a lot of tweaking which you don't see in this video because this build took a few hours to to do properly um, so I didn't want to show the entire thing because it's just a, me really just moving these incrementally about to try and get the best kind of angle the best kind of position and particularly when you've got all these beams and things it can get quite confusing so I spent probably half the build just working out which which component was which, trying to find the um, the right object because the one of the main problems with PO is you end up with a lot of these little kind of crosses everywhere and it can be a bit of a struggle, a bit of a game to actually find the right element, <laughs> which is um, part of the fun of it, I guess. So this is me just moving this kind of, uh, this is actually a timber roof structure from uh, construction um, assets and uh, I'm using these just to make a kind of cast iron appearance roof structure. Uh, just changing the colour so it all sort of matches in together. So it gives it the impression that this is a metal structure rather than roof, uh, wood rather. And positioning this in as best as I can with the uh, the big roof there and I think the the finished thing comes out really well I was really happy with how the the build looked particularly in the cinematics at the end and in fact this whole area really just comes to life once the um, once you get the people in and those cinematics I think do tend to uh, help achieve the kind of vibe that I was trying to get with this build because it's all about creating atmosphere with uh, New Falmouth. I could just merrily build and plonk buildings down and end up with kind of a generic appearance but I want to try and get something just a little bit more unique with this um, which means I'm spending a long time building it and it's probably taken me now four or five months I guess to get to this stage and um, I kind of wanted to be a little bit further with the city but um, I'm quite kind of happy with how it's how it's looking so I don't want to sort of rush it too much and uh, end up with something that loses some of its character let's say um, so I'm really happy with how the the city is kind of looking at the moment and I hope that you agree that it's starting to really spring to life which you'll see at the end in the cinematics so as I say this is really the the fiddly bits just sort of getting the angles right and making sure that you stretch the roof so it sort of covers the the, the frame below um, but you can see here how it kind of fits with the the, 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 sh the market stalls underneath and once you put down some pathways and I've converted most of these to invisible pathways for pedestrians then you can get some actual sims into your your market and it starts to look more like a proper market rather than just a kind of empty uh, empty build um, what I'm also doing here is just adding some manual um, manual market stalls and things the um, the network 
the network paths with the market stalls are really handy and I probably could have used those here to be honest but I wanted to just try and make something a little bit more unique um, so it doesn't just look like a kind of carbon copy um, so I've actually colored some of those uh, market stalls and changed the um, change the colors and I actually end up changing the shape of some of them as well just to give it a slightly more unique appearance and this is me just changing some of these market stalls but I'm really really pleased with how this this all turned out um, and then once that was built I could then concentrate on this uh, this pier so this is pier 3 which is the kind of main uh, tourist hotspot I guess for the harbour in terms of the um, the waterfront there there's a couple of other piers in the old harbour but pier 3 is the one with most of the bars and cafes and things on um, so this is kind of one of the main sort of destinations I guess once you get into the old harbour itself um, I'm putting some cobbles down and putting these little kind of grills over just to, to make a nice transition between the cobbles and the pavement there and again putting some some of these warehouses down because I wanted to try and keep the original infrastructure as much as I as I could or certainly give it the impression um, this building particularly I think looks really good there and on the side of the fish market there's actually a few little warehouses and things that you can see here and that's again to give it the impression that this is still a semi working area this is you know you still need um, areas to store stuff and also if there is fish and things bought ashore then there's still um, kind of an area for for the kind of working operations of the harbour itself so it is like many other kind of harbour fronts in different cities um, still a kind of semi working environment rather than just being dedicated to tourism even with these little gates I end up using procedural objects on just to make them fit better uh, there's a lot of these kind of little details that I've added in which you probably wouldn't really notice unless you're you're flying around the city yourself but it's quite satisfying I suppose doing this sort of stuff um, but it does take a long time to do um, and as I say most of the time probably wouldn't even notice those sort of details now this structure here is the kind of sign I wanted to make a, a little sign for the uh, the market itself and again wanted to do something a little bit more unique I guess um, so I end up using this kind of metal mesh which I forget the uh, the name of um, and then put a piece of ploppable pavement behind I think that is just so that the uh, the writing there are sort of pops off the mesh because otherwise you can't see it and it looks like a kind of um, industrial sort of um, you know an industrial designed sign that's been erected there for the fish market but I think that looks pretty pretty cool there i actually put a couple of those either side of the building just to give it a kind of an entrance so that tourists know that that's where they the fish market is and now just putting down the uh, ploppable surfaces for the pay, um, for the pier rather uh, this is the largest of the piers as I say pier 3 one of the, the main kind of uh, main piers and once the ploppable pavement is down then I could focus on putting down some cafes and restaurants and things and once I started to do that I think it really starts to um, the build really starts to come to life um, again some invisible pedestrian paths there just to try and get a bit of foot track tra foot traffic through um, let me have a swig of wine might help a little bit with the, uh, the commentary yeah that's a bit better um, so these little kind of um, I mean that's a gin that's I think that's a vanilla building there actually but that works really well on this uh, this pier and I've got a few of these little assets with um, the kind of parasols and the the seating there <clears throat> which people do actually use I was surprised to see people actually sitting at some of those tables um, and this again is just me kind of putting down a lot of these um, little cafes and bars because I think this is going to be a popular spot for people to visit so it'd be quite cool in the evening 
I've done a bit of a nightlife going on here. Um, and uh, I think there'd probably be a lot of a lot of drinking, a lot of alcohol going on in the evening. So quite a lively, a lively spot. And at the end, I'm just putting another few little sort of warehouse buildings there. And then really, it's just a question of adding a few props in. Um, I'm not doing anything too complicated, nothing too flash. I'm using those benches that I used in the um, uh, the previous build and also a few uh, life boys there in case anybody falls into the uh, into the harbour um, and then once I've done that it's just a question of adding some uh, some boats on so I think we are pretty much getting to the end of this uh, this episode we've got another minute or so left um, I do want to just uh, give a, a quick sort of um, shout out to, uh, to new subscribers that have subbed recently I've had a few new people um, sub the channel since I did the guest build for the Phoenician which is always cool um, so a big uh, a big uh, shout out to the new people there hope you're enjoying the uh, the videos um, I will be doing a um, a build probably for Santa Capricia next I think that'll be the uh, the next uh, City Skylines file that I open and um, not really sure what I'm going to be doing with that city at this stage because it's such a colossal kind of undertaking Santa Capricia it's I always get slightly anxious when I open that game file because it's so big whereas New Falmouth is much smaller in scale so I, I find it much easier to kind of focus I guess um, Santa Capricia is just a little bit more uh, work I guess to get my head around what I'm doing but I have promised myself I will be doing a Santa Capricia build for the next video so hopefully that'll be out in around a week or so give or take um, so yeah if you've enjoyed this video please like the video as usual um, I do appreciate the likes and um, if you haven't subbed and you are just uh, finding the video by chance then do please sub because it's always cool to have few uh, new people join so until next time I shall bid you all farewell take care and I shall see you in Santa Capricia. Cheers guys.